Hi everyone and welcome back to the Organized Notebook. In this video, we wanted to show you how to use Notion AI with various use cases. If you're new to Notion AI, it is something that you can only use with the upgraded Notion AI plan, but they do include some free responses if you just like to try it out. And if you're interested in upgrading, we'll leave the link to that in the description below. So let's get started. We'll be showing you how to use Notion AI in this page. And if you already have Notion AI upgraded, you can follow along in your own pages as well. So the first thing we wanted to cover is the basics of using AI. So in order to pull up AI, you can either do command control J and you can simply ask AI to do things here, such as continue writing, summarize, find action items, and so on or you can type slash AI to get the various options that you can use in AI. So those are the basics of using Notion AI in your Notion pages. And now let's get started with databases. So one of the best ways to use Notion AI is to use it as a database property. And there are actually four types of database properties that you can add to Notion, which uses AI. And if you click plus sign inside a sample database, you'll see that you can either do an AI summary, AI key info, AI custom autofill, or AI translation. So let's first show how to do AI summary. So if we click AI summary here, and you can choose auto update on page edits, which means that if something gets edited in the page, it's going to automatically update this property as well. And you can just click update all pages if you like it all to update already. So let's actually update by clicking this one button here. And now you'll see that the AI summary has appeared based on this page that we have here. And this is an article that we wrote about Notion databases, and it made a really nice summary here. So you might wonder, how is this useful? Well, having an AI summary is a great way to quickly glance inside a database to see what the contents of the page are without actually opening each page separately. So that's how we recommend to use the AI summary property. So next, we can add our next AI property, which is AI key info. And here it asks what key info to extract, for example, key topics in bullets or people mentioned on the page. So let's go with key topics in bullet points and we will save changes. And then we can just click the update button here to see what happens. So now it gave us the key info and bullet points like it suggested. And this is another great way to show the contents of your database without having to click inside each page. So next, if we click the plus button, we can show you how the AI custom autofill works. So if we click here, then you can basically write anything you want in here. So for example, how we like to use it is if we need some review questions, if we're studying and we put some content inside of the database page. So if we just say five review questions based on this page and save changes, and we can update it. It gives us five questions for reading comprehension after we've read the article. So this is another great way to use AI. And finally, if we click the plus button, we can try AI translation. And Notion has a bunch of languages you can translate to, which is shown here. And let's say that we want to translate to Spanish. So we can click Spanish and you can choose what to translate inside of this database. So is it just the name or do you want the tags? So if we just click all properties and then save changes and we can update it, you'll see that it has shown the AI translation of the name and tags. So this is really useful if you're working with colleagues from other countries and languages. This could be a great way to translate your databases for a smooth workflow. Next, we will go to AI blocks. And this is another great way to use Notion AI. And let's say that we go to this Notion database properties page and we want a summary of this on the bottom of the page. Well, we can actually type slash AI 
And then you can click the AI summary block. And now if you click generate, it's going to generate a summary based on this page. And this is a great way to keep updating an AI summary instead of simply asking for a summary. So if instead we went slash AI and we just asked to summarize, it would simply write it here, but there's no way to actually save this summary prompt. So it's just text and you can delete it. But this one comes in a block like this and you can actually update it. So that's the key difference here. And along with uh, AI summary block, what you can also do is slash AI and you can actually also choose action items, for example. And this is really useful because Notion generates checkboxes out of this text. And it's especially useful for meeting notes. And then if we do slash AI, you can also make a custom AI block with your custom prompt. So you can just ask it to write five review questions based on this page and generate. So this is another great way to use AI blocks. And the one thing that we also really like with this AI blocks is the fact that you can add it to database templates. So if we go back and let's say that we want to always have action plans on the bottom of our meeting notes. Well, we could just make a template by clicking the blue button here for meeting notes. And we can add our meeting notes here. And then an AI action plan block by going to action items. And then we can save this by going back. And now if we open the meeting notes and let's actually just save this. So we'll copy this and delete it. And now we can just access this template by clicking meeting notes and it's going to generate this page. And now we can paste in the notes we had before and click generate. So now, as you can see, it's generated a action plan here based on what we have here. And every time you make a page that is a meeting note, then you will always have access to that block. So this is a great way to save your AI prompts as well. The next thing we wanted to show is translations using Notion AI. And in order to add a translation table, all you really have to do is to put a plus here and AI translation. And then what you can do is to, for example, if this was a translation table, you could just simply add vocabulary words here in English, like hello, and we could just update it here. So let's actually make sure the language is correct. And if we translate it to, for example, Spanish and save changes and we can update it. Now it's like this and we could keep going like so. And this would be a great way to use your AI translation in order to learn languages, or if you're going to go traveling and you want a list of useful phrases, you could just have Notion AI generate that for you. And the next thing we wanted to show you is that you can actually translate your summaries. So you can use AI two ways. So if we had plus sign here and we wanted an AI summary, then we could click another plus sign here and then go to AI translation. And we can set the settings so that it's going to translate your AI translation. So if we go here and then what to translate, we could just decide to translate the AI summary and save changes. And let's generate the summary here. And once you have the summary, you could now click update here to get the translation of that summary. And let's make sure that the language is correct. So in this way, you can use AI to also interact with each other.
So next we're going to dive deeper into summaries. So you can use the included AI summary property like we showed with either the property or inside a block, but you can also add custom summaries. So if we go to AI custom autofill, you can ask for a much shorter summary. For example, summarize this page in one sentence and save changes. And then we can update. And now it summarized this page in only one sentence, as opposed to if we did a normal summary, AI summary, and we click update, it usually gives us a much longer summary. So in this way, if you're looking for a really quick view of what the contents are, it could be nice instead to add a custom AI prompt for summaries. The next thing we wanted to show you is revisions with Notion AI, and you can easily improve your writing or fix grammar and spelling. So if we go to a revision note here, we've prepared a mistake paragraph so that we can show you how to use the revision function of Notion AI. So if we highlight this and then we ask AI to fix spelling in grammar, it's going to fix all of these grammar and spelling mistakes so for example, organization is key to productivity. It fixed the all-in-one and the database type. And you can choose to replace section, insert below, continue writing or make longer. So we're just gonna insert it below. And as you can see, this mode makes it so that it doesn't add anything extra besides the grammar and spelling fixes. So if we go back, and instead we highlight and ask it to improve writing, it's gonna do a little bit more than just the spelling and grammar. So if we go here and go to improve writing, it's just going to do a general fix and make your writing a little bit better. So as you can see, it kind of made the sentences a bit shorter and so on. So this is also a really fast way to improve your writing. So the next thing we wanted to cover is that you can easily generate writing ideas using Notion AI. Notion AI can allow you to create outlines, brainstorm, make your text longer, simplify language, and change the tone. So if you frequently get stuck in a writer's block, this is a really great way to get out of it. So let's say that we want to write a article about how to use Notion AI. We can add an entry into the sample database, and let's title this how to use Notion AI. And we can simply type slash AI and ask AI to write an outline about how to use Notion AI. And now it's giving us some ideas on how we could structure an outline for Notion AI. And of course, some of these things might not really apply, but it's just a really great way to just generate ideas to start thinking about what you could do. And next we can show you how to brainstorm. So if we go slash AI, you can also click brainstorm ideas on how to use Notion AI. And it's going to give you some ideas like this. And now if you wanted to write longer, you can highlight this, ask AI to make longer, and we can insert it below. And now we could even change the tone by asking AI to change tone. And let's go with something friendly. And of course, this could be a little bit too much if you're writing a blog, the way that this friendliness comes out with Notion AI, but it's a good way to just see how your text can appear in different tones and decide what you can or cannot use. Next, we wanted to show you how you can use Notion AI with meetings and having an action plan is one of the best ways to use Notion AI for meetings. So if we, click the plus button here, and we just go with an AI custom autofill. You can ask it to come up with bullet points for an action plan. So we can say action plan in bullet points and save changes. So now if we have our meeting notes here and we update it, it should come up with some action plans here. And next, we also showed you before how to add 
action plans as a block. So that's the other way that we highly recommend to add action plans as a block inside your meeting notes templates. And finally, we have our general tips. So if you're using AI blocks, it generally applies to the whole page, even the properties. So just be careful what you add there if you want accurate results. For example, oftentimes headings will get in the way of your AI answers. So if you write things like notes or meeting notes, it could get picked up weirdly. So just be careful of that. Next, keep generating if you're not happy with it. So you can continue to add that update button until you're happy with the results. And finally, ask for specific requests when using a prompt. So for example, instead of just saying in bullets, you could ask in bullet points or how many characters do you want or sentences and so on. So the more specific, the better. So those are the basics of how to use Notion AI in different use cases. We hope that this was useful for you. Let us know in the comments if you use Notion AI, what do you think about it? And if there was anything confusing about this video, feel free to let us know and we hope to see you in the next one.